This is a story of dreams and determination, where faith can take you to new heights of inspiration. I think it's one point of the life when you challenge yourself, you automatically grow to improve the quality of life of yourself and around you. You know the story of the Sherpa? All the Sherpa carrying the staff, organizing expedition. They are the true people to go there to organize everything. Yeah. And they are the true people to work uh, hard. It's the beginning of the flying Sherpa. Oxygen, oxygen. Like a situation is critical. You took up like your tassara. Do you tell my own of your Ula Mother of Hounds? By going through challenge like that, you, you know the value of the life. David met Babu when Babu was still just a boy. David taught Babu how to paraglide. When I come here, it's my uh, it's my duty to to teach local to fly, to teach local to become professional, and to teach local to become instructor. Babu went on to fly cross country the entire length of Nepal, and now he has set his sights. A little higher. After some people, uh, you teach what you can, but uh, at the end, uh, they teach you many things. Okay, and Babu, it's very exciting. I born for that time. Not only my first self, this I born for everyone, and then all the and then everything what is a uh, live in this planet and this around this universe. Paragliding brought David and Babu together. Now, paragliding has brought Lapka and Babu together. Lapka crashed his glider into a tree, and Babu was the man who got him out of that tree. Only six months after this chance meeting, they are preparing for the journey of a lifetime. I've been four times top of the world. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great talk chef. Nobody buy, he have no value, no, no, no price. Nobody can buy Lakpa. He's a very, like, really, really top chef. Uh, everybody saying like for me crazy, yeah. but I'm not crazy. <laughs> technically, I'm technically. <laughs> <laughs> this is a plan what we want to do, not only climbing, not only in the flying. This is the heart, it's a possible, it is a Himalaya. We want to climb one of the highest peaks in the world. Nobody take up this place and we want to fly above the highest place. Uh, yeah, I'm like a natural pilot. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, uh, we two going to climb together. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> altitude. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm altitude passenger and he is altitude pilot. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to go from the summit? Yeah, summit. Wow. Our goal is summit to see. Gorkhali ko chora homo, Gorki mero nao, Lakpa mero nao. Babu and Abka, they have the fire. It's the true fire. Because the fire they carry, they give it to everybody. Babu and Lakpa form Hanuman Airlines and go directly to base camp to begin training. The mission is to fly from the Everest summit then kayak from the headwaters of the Sunkosi River to follow the Ganges River all the way to the ocean. The ocean that neither of them have ever seen. From the supreme source to the sea, where all is united. <laughs> Hanuman is the son of the wind and just as powerful. There is nothing in the world that is too difficult 
for Hanuman. He is the Hindu god of strength as well as mischief, and Hanuman will protect you. Embrace we like a mother god. Mother god and we pray all the time to the Holy Spirit and success. Yeah. <laughs> Mount Everest is not just a walk in the park. Avalanches, sub-zero temperatures, and altitude sickness are just a few of the harsh realities of climbing. Everest is even more dangerous and deadly when you have to work there. Hey man, how do you feel? Are you comfortable for climbing up? Babu and Lakpa let their bodies adjust to the low oxygen environment by climbing up and down the ice fall between Everest Base Camp and Camp 3. The ice fall is considered to be the most dangerous and unpredictable portion of the Everest climb, and this is where they trained. <laughs> No one would be able to reach the summit and see the top of the world without the culture of people who make this possible. The Sherpa. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Best 
माता पछाड़ी या गांव में मैं लाइमी सात हजार मीटर आती हूँ अगले बार बार तो वही रहे हैं तो इधर में ठीक है इसको Before the final ascent, they would make small trips to Camp 4 to leave supplies. The difficult climb and deadly environment creates a bond among the men, as timeless as the mountain they work on and the Holy Mother who lets them. Right, let's go. I'm Rio. Shoche, Everest, Station. I'm going to go to Dutch Bay. I'm going to go to Dutch Bay. हिमाल का दाज भाई दुख है ऐसे जन उन्हें बात चले ऐसा ही हिमाल में जो गाय रहा तो सब दुख आसुख आजे ना करने आपने जंगल से रोशनी तो करने से बंदा शान लाई शान लाई हम बंदा शान ले जाए आइए तो देखिए यो काम कर रहे हैं खाना परोस और वो काम तेरे लागोस मैं तो तो बंद सांस धन्यवाद तो जब ने अब दो ही महीन अब आम्रो ट्रेनिंग सिद्धि अब आदि सिद्धि शक्यो अब तीन चार दिन मात्रे बाकी समय थे समय दिन गंतव्य में पुगने लाये। At Camp Four, Hanuman Airlines discovered that they had one canister of oxygen stolen, lowering the possibility of walking down and risking the possibility of flying. Although it appears now, with less oxygen, flying would be the safer choice. Hanuman Airlines team reached the summit on May 21st, 2011. <laughs> It is known that getting down is the hard part. 54 summiteers have died during their descent. How difficult to go up? 100% more difficult to come down. Cut over the ground. There is a Category 1 hurricane blowing one out of every four days at the Everest summit.
this wing in blip, this wing, no possible to interlight that. The wind was picking up snow powder as it whipped north across the summit, making it impossible to inflate the glider. I, I pray God, please, 20 minutes, please stop this wind. Exactly, chef. It's no wind, nothing. This wind we enter like that, exactly like Sharangkot. Clear, all open, share, line, share, everything. Oxygen, okay, okay. okay. Lapka okay, okay. gives his oxygen to Babu, risking his life to make sure the pilot okay. can fly. Completely block. I can take up with this one. For Babu, I make it strong for Babu all the time. Strong, strong, strong. No problem. If I'm weak, no problem. I'm <laughs> <laughs> he put me new oxygen and then pull, pull oxygen. If, uh, if I didn't make for him like a strong, yeah. and uh, I have to walk like all the way down. With limited oxygen, the team must move quickly to prepare the glider and get off the summit. No running, huh? just boom. Straight up, bam! Fly about the airbrush, whoa! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> oxygen, oxygen! Oxygen, oxygen! Oxygen, oxygen! Never die without oxygen, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> They flew 8,865 meters, making an altitude world record.
65 meters, descending to 3,750 meters, 31 kilometers in 45 minutes. What normally takes the average climber a few days if the weather is permitting, they completed in 45 minutes. If you will be like a figure eight, we go maybe 9,000 meters. Which one, Babu? 8,865 meter D clubs. <laughs> now that they know how to get down safely, the culture of climbing Everest will be changed forever. I like to make like everybody flying sky, sky, sky. Yeah, and, for people's and, sky. I think in the future, uh, instead to work in the dangerous place, they are all going to fly down. <laughs> because it's a lot more safe. <laughs> all Sherpa in the sky and very <laughs> difficult, to, difficult to like uh, hire Sherpa uh, for foreigners. Oh, uh, no, no, they, no. Fly. they don't want to work. They want to fly up. They want to fly. <laughs> this one generation of uh, flying Sherpa is coming. This year, this year, uh, maybe 15 to 20 Sherpa come to course in the sky. I will teach uh, when uh, they need me. But uh, Babu is on the way to be instructor. But uh, I'm here for that 10 years of uh, developing paragliding in Nepal. Wipe the flame sharper. Yes. I show all the mountain peak I see God. I have to go down. I have to look after the people who have who need the help. 
Is the God support me? I'm sure otherwise I can't fly from this place. And Babu says that climbing Everest and flying down is not the point. It is the presentation for what he wants to do. His mission is much higher than Everest. He wants to help humankind develop their inner selves. Time changes the mind and then time changes the uh, environment and time changes the everything. And then time to change the generation and generation brings the new things. That's it that we want to show. With uh, belief and the heart, we can, everything is possible. Everything is possible. For Babu, this challenge reminded him that we can all do something meaningful with our lives. The quality of life will come down to the quality of our contribution. Babu will take Lakpa kayaking to the ocean to complete the Summit to Sea mission. But Lakpa can't swim. Life is a challenge and dream is a never ending. That is our life. Vijaya inko ganta beho Vishwasa inko sakti Paila paila ma khatra Molchan man ma chhanuman bhakti Veer ka santan hun hanuman jai balaban Bhugera sansar gai aglo chuchuro ma Rakhe ille na Nepali jana ka sahasik chora Nepali janaka sahasik chora Babura lakpa Babura lakpa Babura lakpa Nepali kasan Babura lakpa Jai Jai Hanuman Babura lakpa Hanuman!